First Class V here, back to another GCSS Army helpful video. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to pull your unit service schedule using ZMPRPT as the T code. So this is extremely helpful if you're a maintenance manager, you're able to forecast all of your services, and you can also give this to your unit DTMS reps to make sure that all this stuff is on your DTMS schedule. That way you have some ammo to fight back, you know, especially with taskings or uh, field exercises, you're able to plan ahead knowing which vehicles are not going to be available. So without further ado, let's jump into GCSS Army here. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the previous videos, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, the next few days we'll be doing our ARIM series, so stay tuned for that. So the T code we're going to be working in is ZMPRPT, okay? So once it comes up, you'll get this screen so you're able to run your maintenance plan statuses of open closed or all i'm just going to run the open because i want to know the service schedule for a certain uh unit so you put in your unit uic and if you haven't had a chance to check out my video on how to set up a variant uh, make sure you do so because you go up to go to and get variant you're able to actually plug in your variant and pull your report a lot faster so I'm just going to run a single UIC with the dates open so I capture everything and I'm only going to show the first call. Now down here for layout, so I have mine preset at missing because I run the uh, missing maintenance plan report quite a bit. So you, all you can do is click on it and just go to right here, PM, MP, RPT, default. You'll click that if it doesn't default already. You'll hit execute. Now, when it runs, it's going to run all of these service maintenance plans in this UIC. So it's going to be broken up into uh, two different areas. You'll have overdue and open. All right. So just keep in mind, um, it'll tell you the days beyond. So, you know, the late date was 29 uh, March. So it's 15 days past due. All right. So you, here you'll see your early date, your plan date and your late date. OK, so if you were to put this in DTMS, I always get with the maintenance managers and I look at the plan date of when I'm actually going to do it and plan accordingly. All right. So it also track your reduces if you have it in there correctly as well. So if you look at this one here, this first one, it's, it'll tell you the operational status of its FMC or NMC, right? So keep in mind, you can't service a piece of equipment that is currently non-mission capable. All right. Just keep that in mind. So there's a lot you can do from this screen. So you can actually deactivate, delete, or reactivate a uh, maintenance plan if you wanted to. I'm gonna show you a different video on how to do that. But this is how you actually pull the service schedule for your unit. Now, a couple things to keep in mind, make sure you're using your 10% uh, tolerance, you know, plus or minus. However, with small arms, there is no late date, all right? So if you look here, uh, these are these are set up wrong. So the early date and late date, right? There's no late date for weapons. So this unit has to go in and fix their M4s. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, be on the lookout for videos coming. Like I said, uh, we're getting ready to start our ARIM series this weekend. So be on the lookout for that. And as always, go ordinance and hit that like and subscribe button.